Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Wendy and in this channel you can expect to see videos related to my kidney journey, wellness and personal growth. If that sounds like something that interests you, make sure to subscribe and come with me on this journey. With that being said, let's get to the content in this video. Shoulder pain is very common among people doing peritoneal dialysis. I felt it and I can tell you without a doubt it is 10 out of 10 pain. Good news though, today I'm going to share with you how I got rid of the pain right after it starts and I also will tell you what you can do to stop it from happening in the first place. According to my doctor, what causes the shoulder pain is air that enters the peritoneal cavity. So when we stand up, the air rises to the top of the peritoneal cavity. Once there, it touches certain nerves that shoot pain either to the shoulder or to the jaw. I personally never felt the jaw pain, but I felt the, the shoulder pain quite often. It's not surprise the pain for me always started when I finished my treatment and I got up. If that sounds familiar, this is what you need to do. Go back to bed, but before you lay down, remove your pillow and move it down by your feet. If you have a second pillow that you can stack on top, even better. Now you can go back and lay down, ensuring that your back is completely flat. If you put a pillow under your head, the pain will go away only while you're laying down. It will return once you stand up. Make sure your upper body is completely flat. Now bend your knees and place your feet on the pillows. The goal is for your abdomen and upper body to be completely flat and relaxed. Stay in that position for about 10 minutes. When you stand up, the pain should be gone at least for the rest of the day. Now, as my doctor says, the pain is caused by air. Now, it takes about three days for that air to completely dissipate, meaning the next day when you get up, you're most likely to feel the pain again. You had two options. You can do what I just showed you, if that worked for you, or the other option is to get rid of the air itself. And that is also something very easy to do. My Davira nurses advised me to do that with a manual exchange. I wasn't too comfortable doing manuals because the only time I did a manual was during my training. So I decided to try it with my cycler. For me, that worked just fine. So if you wanna try it with your cycler, this is what you need to do. And just remember that always ask you, Davida, how to do this next step. They did tell me how to do this part. So make sure to consult with them because we all have different needs. We all have different physical capabilities. So I just want to make sure you guys are safe. With that being said, this is what I did. Five minutes before my last train, I put a couple of pillows under my hips. Again, nothing under my head. This position allow the air to move towards my catheter. I stay in that position until my drain is started. The first suction pulls most or all of the air bubbles. If you pay attention to the line, you can actually see the bubbles going through. I waited there for about two minutes, then I removed the pillows and finished my last drain. Like I say, I tried with my cycler and that worked, but it doesn't work every single time. So for me, finding out how to get rid of the pain right after it starts, it was, I mean, it changed my life. I'm very thankful for peritoneal dialysis. I feel like it gave me a lot of freedom. It was easy to do. I, I felt pretty good uh, compared to when I was on kidney failure. But the shoulder pain, it really, especially at the beginning, it was one of the things that really made me doubt if I was going to be able to do um, peritoneal dialysis. And I understand I'm, I am a baby when it comes to pain, but that pain was, was very, very strong for me. If you have felt the pain, let me know in the comments. Do you think I am exaggerating or saying that it's 10 out of 10 pain is pretty accurate. The good thing though is that the pain is very common during the first months, probably a couple months, and then decreases quite a bit. I did peritoneal dialysis for nine months. In all those nine months, I felt the pain from time to time, but I know for a fact that it was more common in the, probably in the first two months. Well, with that being said, guys, I hope that pain goes away because that's probably the reason you came to this video. And I hope to see you guys in my next one.